Find the Cartesian equation of the plane through the three points A, 4, 1, 0, P, 4, 2, 1, and R, 2, 3, 3. Well, first of all, let's have a look at this. Um, so here I have the x-axis, the y-axis going into the page, and the vertical z-axis. I'm going to put the three points on my graph to be beginning with. So this is A. This is P and this is R. So just uh, this is a slightly different angle. So this is A, this is P and this is R. Now I'm going to make one of these my general point, okay? And this one will be my general point R, okay? But I will find the vectors and then I that will be the case where mu and lambda will be equal to 1. But this point will actually move around the plane, and I'll show you that later. Right, so I need to find an equation that gets me from O to the point R, which is going to call OR, and that's going to be R, and that normally stands for X, Y, Z. How are we going to get there? Well, we have to go a different routes. So I'm going to go from O to A. So the, the vector O to A. Now, the vector O to A is not actually in the plane. It's just taking me from the origin to a point in the plane. Now, I need to find the vector AP, which is actually in the plane. Okay, and we're going to call that one uh, U. And then I'm going to find the vector PR, which is also in the plane. So only these two vectors are actually in the plane. All right, so we'll just repeat. We go from O to R, and to do that, I'm going to go from O to A, which is not not in the plane, and then use two vectors which are in the plane, which are AP and PR. So first of all, we're going to find the vector equation. So that's going to be OR plus OA plus AP, and it'll be lambda times AP, so some multiple of it. This is the case where lambda is equal to 1. And then mu times PR. Using the short letters, R, and remember R usually stands for X, Y, Z. A, vector A, plus lambda, vector U, plus mu, vector V. Right, I now need to find these vectors, A, U, and V. So finding them, OA is quite easily. That's just going to be 4, 1, 0, the same as the coordinates of the point. Now, to find this vector here, AP, I need to do AO plus OP. So remember, I'm going against the arrow here. So I'm going to make this minus 4, minus 1, 0, and then add the coordinates of P to that which in the form of a vector. So it's 4, 2, 1. So minus 1 plus 4 is going to give me 0. Minus 1 plus 2 is going to give me 1. And 0 plus 1 is going to give me 1. So, going to, so the vector AP is 0, 1, 1. PR, so to find this vector here, I'm going to go PO plus OR. So I'm going to have to go minus the coordinates of P. So it's minus 4, minus 2, minus 1, plus the coordinates of R, 2, 3, 3. And working that out, that's going to give me minus 2, 1, and 2. So now writing down the vector equation of the plane, I'm going to have that R is OA, which is 4, 0, 1, from over here, plus lambda times 0, 1, 1, plus mu times minus 2, 1, 2. So, going to this, if I click, I now see these vectors. If I move these cursors, I will get some all the points that are moves in the plane. Although I can't really see the plane yet, but I will get all the points, even some which are over here as well. Let's put these back to 1 to begin with. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Now, 
So this is A, this is U, this is V. Now, we need to find the uh, normal vector to the plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the normal vector. Okay, so it's going to be this vector here where this is 90 degrees to V and 90 degrees to U because U and V are actually in the plane. All right, remember OA is not in the plane. So I'm going to find the, the cross product or the vector product of U times V. Now it doesn't matter if U goes out that way or U go, oh, sorry, N goes out that way or if N goes into the page, it doesn't really matter. I just need to find a normal vector. So R is going to be equal to, this is the vector equation, so i just write it out again. So I'm going to find the cross product of U or V, or the vector product U V. So the normal is the vector product of U V. Remember U and V are in the plane. So setting that up properly, remember we write down I, J, K, and then I'm going to write 0, 1, 1 across here under each of these. And then minus 2, 1, 2 underneath this one here. And what you do is you cover this one up, and then you're going to do 1 times 2, minus 1 times 1. 1 times 2, minus 1 times 1, lots of i. Now the next one's always minus. And now we're going to cover up j. I'm going to go 0 times 2, minus 1 times minus 2. So it's, it's worth your while writing this all out. Because it's very easy to make a mistake. Lots of j. And then the last one is plus, so I'm going to cover up k, so it's going to be 0 times 1 minus 1 times minus 2. That is my use of brackets here. Lots of k. This simplifies down to 2 minus 1 lots of i minus 0 plus 2, because it's 1 times minus, minus 1 times minus 2, plus 0 plus 2 for the same reason, lots of k. 2 minus 1 is um, 1, and here we're going to have minus 2. So we're going to have i minus 2j plus 2k. This is the normal vector. Now it's better if we write it in a form of a column vector. 1 minus 1, 2. So just repeat what I've done there. I've now found this normal vector to the plane. Right, now what we're going to do is find the normal vector form of the equation of the plane using one particular point in the plane, 4, 1, 0, and n, 1, minus 2, 2. So the point I'm going to use is going to be this one here of a, and I've already calculated what n is as a vector. So r dot n is equal to d, and what I've got to do is find the value of d. So I'm taking that particular point 4, 1, 0, and doing the scalar product with 1, minus 2, 2, it's going to give me 4 times 1, 4 times 1, 1 plus 1 times minus 2, plus 0 times 2 which gives me 4 minus 2 plus 0, which gives me the value of 2. So the vector, normal vector equation of the plane is going to be r dot 1 minus 2, 2 is equal to 2. And now all I've got to do is now convert that to a Cartesian equation, and that's quite easy because r, if you remember, always stands for the general point in the plane x, y, z. So x, y, z dot the normal vector 1 minus 2, 2, which gives me x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 2. And that's my Cartesian equation. So here's how I'm going to have a look at it. All right, so this is my general point. This is my... Uh, this is a, this is u, this is v, this is my normal vector, this is r. So any point in the plane will be given by the vector equation, which is OA plus A lambda AP plus mu times R, or if you prefer A plus lambda U 
plus mu times v, or the vector equation of the plane, which is going to be any x, y, z, will be dot the, the scalar product 1 minus 2, 2, will be equal to 2, or the Cartesian equation x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 2. So this is very good because it comes and brings in many things about vectors, particularly the cross product and the scalar product. Just one final look. If I click the last thing here, I get to see the plane. And if I click over here, I can rotate it around. We can look at it from different angles. We can see that what we were trying to find is O R. We can see here very easily that the normal is actually perpendicular. We've got the two angles here, 90 to U and V, which are in the plane. We look at different angles like that. Let's just see a thing about um, geogebra. And if I I'll just move it away from there for a minute, if I now move these, I get all the points in the plane. You can see I'm going to get all the points in the plane. If I move this one, and I can move this one and get different ones and just move them both differently, I, it will give me every single point in the plane. I hope if you can do this, you've had a, a good in understanding of the introduction of planes.